Lexus presents tennis on Sky Sports. And I'm going to ask each of you this. How many Grand Slams can Will Yannick Sinner win? 23 years of age. He's won two from his first two finals. What number would you give I me? think double digits. OK. And so I, I go the same for Alcaraz. And we'll see how, if they stay healthy, that is. Of course, that's okay. always the, 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 the wild card. And maybe more. Yeah. I think double digits as well, uh, both of them. Um, I'm going to say 12. For Sinner? Yeah. How many is Alcaraz getting then? 13. <laughs> <laughs> or 14. Yeah. Or 15. He's definitely higher, isn't he's it? Definitely, uh, he's definitely you've higher. You've got to back the Spaniards. <laughs> he's definitely higher. No, no, you bring the Spanish side. 14. Oh. Oh, I think what's also interesting, look, <laughs> Sinner and Alcaraz are, uh, you know, phenomenal. They're going to win many Grand Slams. For me, it's also now about who's going to be part of the conversation. Absolutely. And we're looking at, you know, could it be Ben Shelton? Is it going to be Tiafo or Fritz from the Americans? Is it going to be Holger Rune? Is it going to be Jack Draper? I think that's going to be fascinating to see because you're not just going to have two... I think uh, Al Kras and maybe, he's, maybe he's a little bit older. I'm thinking more of that yeah. younger generation who can really, you know, come through and, and win these slam titles and then challenge Al Kras and Sinna. Although we mustn't forget Daniel Medvedev. I feel we always forget Daniel Medvedev. And, and Marin, I'm not quite sure we all. He's won 20 titles. He's never won the same title twice. We're sweeping up elsewhere. But I always feel he's kind of left out of conversations. Well, that's a little bit that sort of mid-generation, right? The same as Zverev. When you reach 27, 28, but then you have those young ones who are pushing. You can add in the mix Olga Rune as well, Felix Ojeda, Yassim. And that in between, exactly. That in between is just a little bit sort of getting lost because there is that new push that is coming so fast with Sino Alcaraz. My number for me, my guess, would be between 15 and 18 wow. for each of them. Because wow. I just think <laughs> Novak, <laughs> Novak is going to go for maybe two or three more. Really? Novak is going to end up at 26, 27. Wow. But then okay. after that, you really have, for me, the two most complete players. Because even the name we have mentioned, Bert Shelton really can't play on clay. There's a lot of players who have one surface when they're really not that good. Why is when no actually the other two players... Stefano Tsitsipas, pretty good on clay. Yeah, well, you know, to beat Alcaraz on clay, that's, 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 that's a tough one. He's the two good chances yeah. that he's had so far. He was two sets to love up in the finals of the French against Djokovic. He failed. Well, as... And as, Alcaraz on clay to go and as, get him, that's yeah, hard. As you said before, I think for Medvedev, for Stefanos and for, you know, any other contenders in the future, they've been very unlucky because on the, in the early days, it was Novak, Roger, Rafa, and yeah. the, the big four was sharing all the, the big ones. And now, Sinin and Alcaraz just came out. So for them, it's going to be tough to, to win slams. Now, the cheering and why the people have Yannick left from Sinner. behind us is because Yannick Sinner has just sat down at the ESPN set. So if you think it's thinned out behind us, they've all That's legged it over there. I think that and means he's coming to us after. Right after. We're going to speak to him later. Okay. And Tim, you were laughing at everyone's predictions. So how many are you giving those to? I think uh, eventually um, they're going to be tied on 25. They'll oh, be the. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Jimmy in that spirit, this whole US Open, it's all about film. <laughs> He's just being I think double digits. I mean, look, you've got to also as well. I, Difficult to but say. But double digits, that could be 10, that could be you know, When Sampras won his 14th, I would have bet my bottom dollar no one is going past 14 Grand Slams. And then we've had, you know, uh, Federer and Nadal Djokovic go yeah. flying past. You know, in the context of the game, you know, McEnroe's won seven, Connor's won eight, Becca, uh, uh, the they game. won six, and now we're just sort of flippantly saying, oh, but they're gonna going to win double digits. Are you going to digits 20? I think they will go, uh, you know, past 10, which I think is an incredible achievement. The Pro problem is if they don't get to the double digits and then <laughs> they, they can win 10 grand, nine Grand Slams and most of the people will think, oh, it's, 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 not, it's only more. okay. It's not very good because yeah. it's, it's not very good. good. It's only okay. <laughs> So it's tough to, to keep compare. It's not that good at 24, yeah. 22 and 20. You know, that's the big perspective four. on it, don't you? Because of what Federer and Adala Djokovic has done in the men's game, it's just sort of getting almost blown out of proportion yeah. that, oh, you yeah. know, you've got to get to 10. I mean, yeah. look Think at it in the how context. How many players won yeah. 10, yeah. yeah we got yeah. spoiled right. by those three. Yeah, the, yeah. the bar has been set spoiled. very high.